So you had care. seven children of your own and then you decided to foster as well? I started fostering. My husband and I started fostering in 1956. We resigned in 1990 when I left going to New York. We raised all those children in this house. Sometimes people thought I had a daycare. It would be so many, <laughs> be so many children here. Mm -hmm. But uh, we managed to get by. And uh, when my husband passed in 06, uh, Mr. Porter, Willie Porter said to me, he said, Ms. Maddie said, the funeral home is not going to hold the service for Mr. Turner. And I said, well, you know, my husband was 92 when he passed. There was 20 years difference between our ages. But what a life. What a life. And uh, he said, that, I said, well, Mr. Porter, all of Turner's generation, they're gone. I said, so, you know, I just want something small for him. And he said, well, the contribution, my husband taught school, too. He was also the third African-American admitted to Brandeis School of Law. And uh, he said, they, what y'all have done in this community? He said, this is not going to hold them. I said, so I said, well, all right, I'll have it down to the church. And he was right. Children came, well, it wasn't children, then they were adults, came that had been in our foster care that was now 35, 40 years old that came back. One young man came all the way back from Michigan when he heard that Turner had passed and brought his wife and his children.